weather outside is not that cold And if you take my hand, I'll walk with you to Georgia What's going on everyone and welcome back to Country with Celine. I'm your host Celine Chamarki and joining me today is Zach McPhee. It's whiskey bar. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me, Celine. Anytime. It's been a while since we've last chatted and lots has happened uh, since then. I mean, you finally released your EP. You're expecting a baby boy and you're engaged. So tell me, how's life been like? Life's been good. Life's been busy. Yeah, since the last time we talked. Um, yeah, we got engaged um, at the end of summer. And uh, yeah, now we're expecting our baby boy in a few weeks here so it's been good i mean it's all positive things so i can't i can't complain about it but it's definitely been a busy yeah last kind of six months to a year since we've kind of chatted for sure yeah. it's it's been a minute it's been a minute um uh, yeah. okay take me through the engagement because i am a sucker for that sort of stuff so how did you propose yeah, so our first date was, uh, well, so we actually met during COVID. So, um, yeah, we we have been together for over three years. And our first date during COVID, obviously, like, there wasn't anything open. So we went to a little beach um, about half an hour from here. So I kind of wanted to recreate, like the beach kind of theme and i didn't want to go to the same beach just because i feel like she would have got the hint probably or like <laughs> okay. knew it was coming mm -hmm. um so yeah we went down we kind of packed a little picnic down to a beach close by our house we live in uh Kelowna here so um we went down and yeah it was supposed to be just kind of or so she kind of thought it was just going to be like a picnic at the end of the summer and then yeah ended up uh, getting the ring like about a month prior. So I kind of had a plan and then, uh, yeah, just kind of took it from there. And yeah. We like men that have plans. <laughs> we like that. We appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was like a lot building up. Cause it's like, you have the ring, but you don't want to put it anywhere where like, she's going to like notice it. And like, for yeah. me, I feel like, you know, we talk about everything too so it was like tough to hold like kind of hold on to the plan but uh she was surprised so that was a positive and yeah that's a good thing if she wasn't surprised then that would be an issue <laughs> yeah so it's been good <laughs> that's awesome and you're expecting um a baby boy so i know you might want to keep this personal and that's totally fair but just out of curiosity have you guys thought of names yeah, so we're going to name him Milo, M-Y-L-O. So Milo okay. McPhee. Yeah, so we really like the kind of M-M, -M, like mm -hmm. the first and last name. So yeah, that was honestly, that's been kind of the hardest part. Like that's been the biggest decision that we've had to make. And we were going back and forth on a few names, but we kind of landed on that and, and, and we thought it kind of fit. So yeah, mm -hmm. and... So we're like, yeah, two, we're about two weeks away right now. It's March 8th. So we're kind of in that time frame where, you know, he's going to be here anytime, hopefully not too, too soon, but yeah. Oh, he's coming. He, he yep. is coming. He's My, coming, yeah. Milo is a, a cool name too. I like that. It's different when it's more of a unique name rather than, yeah. don't get me wrong, like Alex, those sorts of names are totally fine. But when it has a, a different twist to it, it's a name that you remember. But now the question is, you played hockey. So are yep. you tossing your son into hockey as well? Well, I think like the exposure is definitely going to be there. Like it's going to be, it's going to be definitely there. Like it came from for, for, for like me growing up, it was like my brother introduced my dad to it. And then my, you know, for me seeing my older brother play. And so that kind of got me into it. So I think like the family dynamic will definitely be leaning towards 
you know, him playing hockey. But at the same time, if he doesn't like it, he doesn't like it. We just want him to be kind of like active or Mm -hmm. if he chooses something and he kind of puts everything into it, then that's all we can kind of ask for. Right. So the exposure will be there. I wouldn't say I'm going to like push him too, too hard because I'm not going to enjoy if he's hating it either. (laughs) So. No, and if he's hating it and you're putting that much money into it, it's just that's not a good thing. It's not the world's cheapest sport by any means. So. No, no, it is not. Um, but if he does end up uh, liking hockey and he wants to root for a team, tell him to root for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Go Leafs, go. I'll, I'll see what I can do. I'm a Detroit fan, so I don't know oh, how okay. well that's going to go over. But <laughs> I was if he needs to root that. for a team in Canada, we'll, we'll kind of steer him that direction. Okay, that's a good, I like that plan. I like that plan a lot. Um, Now jumping into music. So you released your EP, Feels Country to Me, back in September. Um, So how good does it feel to have that body of work out there? And the response has been unbelievable. Yeah, it's been, it's been crazy because for me, this is like, it's been like 14 months since I released my first single. So this whole year has felt kind of, like a blur in like the best way possible but um yeah it was kind of a just a build up of songs um like on the ep there's five of the singles that were out prior and then there was two extras that went into the seven song ep for me it was um it was always a plan to kind of do it and i think you know waiting to release music really gave me opportunity to sit down and write and make sure like the body of work was correct. Um, Yeah, it was leading up to it. It was five singles. So I felt like, you know, I'd kind of done that portion of like the early music releasing. And then from there, we just kind of sat down and we're like, Hey, well, I think we have enough of a body of work to be able to put out, you know, two extras as well to like kind of complete that um it feels great like it's it's super nice i mean the response like you were saying has been so good like it's been it's been like everything i could ask for plus some so um yeah i'm just trying to continue to build off of that and um release another single halfway home with a friend of mine sarah cole um and then we actually have another single set to release uh in three weeks actually so um so yeah there's lots in the works but as far as the ep yeah it's been awesome i mean it feels like it was a long time ago like releasing it in september but i still have people who are like you know new to hearing the ep kind of front to back especially so it's been awesome time flies like time flies by quickly um yeah it just for from that ep do you have a favorite song on it like one song that sticks out the most that you just absolutely adore or means the most to you it's it's so tough to really like pin down one song um i think i think the song for me that you know is like the i would say there's two there's two one would be denver just because like that was written back in like 2017 or 2018. So that was like a song that I had kind of had in the works for quite a while and seeing like that song all the way through those years of like playing it for like friends and family and like that kind of stuff. And then seeing where it got to go with, you know, production um, and then kind of, you know, the response that it got after it was out was like super cool um remind me again is probably the other one just because i feel like that one was new and that was kind of the single that was released along with the ep um i'm really proud of that song and um i think that one for me is my favorite to play live too like that's the one that i really look forward to playing live so um i would say those two but it's like tough because they're all different and they were all written at like different times too like they weren't all strung together so i would say those two if i had to pick though you know what if i had to pick two those would be the two top that i'm taking as well yeah Yeah. no and 
for everyone listening, if you haven't checked out those songs, you definitely need to like pause this interview, go to Apple, Spotify, wherever you listen, go on YouTube, find the song and listen, and then come back here and you'll understand why those are our favorites. Um, but just think about this. You came into music later in life and you've yep. already made such a, a name for yourself already. I mean, you got the head of um, Canada's country. Your songs have gone on to multiple different playlists. People are posting videos to your songs on TikTok. I was taking a little scroll and and these videos too, like they're getting quite a number of views and likes. So people are, are liking your stuff and you have 11,000 monthly listeners right now on Spotify and you, the numbers for your songs, like just on Spotify alone are really 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 high and uh, apple music i can never find them on apple music i think you guys only can see them on apple music yeah. but i'm sure they're just as high so like have you ever had that like moment where you've just been like wow if i didn't go for it none of this would have happened yeah i th that's a good question and i think like to go back to your point about like releasing music you know last year and i was 29 at the time when my first song came out um, I think it was really good in the sense that I felt, you know, mature enough at where I was in life to really like put my best foot forward and put out music. Like prior to that, it was a lot of, you know, focusing on hockey, getting my yeah. schooling done. Um, and then leading into like moving back home from Saskatchewan where I was at school, I definitely made it a goal to, you know, get a song out, um, I had done pretty much covers and stuff up until then. I had written and been in like some studios prior to that, more so just feeling it out. Um, but yeah, like after coming home and kind of sitting down and really, you know, looking at what I wanted to do, music has always been a huge passion of mine. And the goal was to release a song. And again, with music, it's just like you put it out and you hope like people gravitate towards okay. it, but it doesn't mean like necessarily they do, right? People mm -hmm. will like your music, you know, and it's been great that they've talked about it, shared it, but um, there's also people who probably don't and that's completely okay with me. But um, that was definitely, the first song was, I don't wanna say like a trial because I thought it was a song that really, um, brought together everything that I want to be as an artist, as far as like the singer songwriter style um, of country, which has been also just a great timing for me because that's kind of popped off in the last little bit. So everything kind of fell into place because it was like the Zach Bryan, you know, the Tyler Childers and artists like that who were, who like were and like have continued to grow kind of the country genre. I was like right in that time frame. Mm -hmm. So bring on when I put it out, I think it got a little bit of a boost because that's what people were kind of drawn towards. Um, but yeah, like after I saw, you know, like all of the comments and again, people reaching out, sharing, seeing how much, um, seeing how much kind of positive feedback was, happening around the song it definitely gives you encouragement to like want to do more and like continue to put out music i think anyway i was going to just because i enjoy it for doing it on my own but it definitely helped right like you definitely feel like okay people are kind of gravitating and they're like understanding the song um the like kind of songs you're putting out so um yeah that's kind of how it started and that's kind of carried on into now we're five singles a seven song ep later and mm -hmm. more to come yeah that's so exciting more to come i know you just released well you teased a single and i commented on it because i was like this is a really good song so just out of curiosity is that one of the songs or is that the song you might be releasing um because you said in three weeks or no yeah so that one is the song that's coming out okay. yeah so it's called Who Knew and like um, that one, a lot of my songwriting style has been more storytelling and that one definitely has more aspects in it. I would say that's personal to me just with like with, with everything that's kind of happened, especially with like being engaged and you know, that kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. it is more of a personal song. There are like aspects that are still storytelling in it. But um, so yeah, that's like a whole new kind of terrain for me to go in but 
um, I'm super excited for it. Yeah, it's definitely, I don't want to say it's more of a pop country song, but it definitely has more like pop production behind it. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I'm pumped for it. Yeah, I'm pumped for it as well. Um, and now, is this a song that you wrote strictly yourself or was it a co-write? Yeah, no, that one was just me. So um, awesome. yeah, that was just in the back room at the house here. And yeah, everything kind of came together at once. So it was I nice. Love, I love it. I love it. Yeah. Um, you know, and since we were talking about singer songwriter, um, because that's just become so popular and that's exactly where you fit in. Um, so with this, this song being more of on, would you say like a pop element sorts of songs, I'm sure people are still going to gravitate to it because that's so popular nowadays too in country music. Mm -hmm. But before we jump into something else that's huge that I want to touch on, um, who would you say is your go-to artist right now that you're listening to singer song writer wise? Yeah, I think um, I kind of, you know, like, Z uh, Zach Bryan for sure. Tyler Childers has always been like a super, um, you know, I've, I've like really looked to his song writing styles. Um, and then for, for me growing up too, like my exposure was again, like through my brother, cause you know, he's seven years older. So for me, like driving in his cars as like, like a teenager and stuff, I would like naturally gravitated towards like stuff that he, really like to listen to so it was more of like the john mayer like the damian rice greg Allen, a uh, high sakoff who's like a huge huge favorite of mine too um so i think i kind of got a little bit of both sides like i i like definitely have leaned more into like listening into country music now that i'm kind of you know releasing in that genre but i definitely think there's influences from that like time of my life. And I mean, I still really enjoy going to the singers songwriter playlist and stuff too. So, um, I mean, Chris Stapleton too, like you can't deny how good he is at like everything. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> like it's almost unfair. Um, so yeah, I would definitely say I, I just continue to enjoy finding new artists. And I think that's such a beauty of like the social media platforms and like the, like, DSPs is you can you can go on playlists and like each week you'll find somebody new right so yeah um just continue to try to like grow in in like kind of that sense as well yeah that's why we gotta really thank social media nowadays this platform it is huge and it's given so many artists a platform to release their music and it's we hear songs that we never thought we would ever listen to from like an artist that we never thought we would actually like because that yeah. wasn't our genre but now we love it. And I mean, honestly, I'm so grateful sometimes for TikTok, especially when it's like 12 yeah. in the morning and you're scrolling and you find songs yeah. and like, oh, this song's going to be released next week. Cool. Noted. We're, we'll remember yeah. that and <laughs> we'll go to stream it. Um, but yeah, it's in, in TikTok too. God, we can have a whole conversation on TikTok and yeah. artists. <laughs> it's just, that's a whole other topic. Um, yeah. But a huge thing that just happen you're the semi-finalist for the Sirius XM top of the country so when you found out what was your reaction like yeah it was uh it was I mean honestly like just so cool right like for me that was a goal like I knew a couple of the artists that were in the um that were in the competition last year and just kind of saw you know what the competition can do for independent artists as well right it's just like a huge platform so very very like grateful and yeah just like a moment where you realize like how how much like kind of hard work has paid off too like to be able to you know do a lot of this stuff on my own with the help of my brother and obviously like family as well but um just like so pumped just so pumped to be even like you know, in a group of artists where you get the opportunity to kind of showcase that. So um, it was kind of a surreal moment. Like you get the call and you're like, hey, you got accepted and you don't really expect it and you don't know what's yeah. coming. Yeah. So all you can do is like thank the people a hundred times and you still have that like full body kind of high of being like, oh my God, like this is actually happening. So um i'm super excited for the next steps like from the time i got the call um i'm going in for my live uh performance video and like session on march 11th so a few days now mm 
Um, but yeah, so it's just kind of been like leading up to this. And then there's the phase of fan voting and that kind of stuff that opens up after, which is, I'll be a whole another side of it, but I'm excited. And your song too, it's going to be played on the radio now on top of the country. So that's yeah. going to be such a, when you hear it, it's going to be such a surreal feeling like, oh my God, my song is on the radio. Like so cool. Yeah. I think it's, I think it's a different feeling too. Like I've never had anything on the radio that I know of, but it's like, um, you know, it's, I don't want to say it's easy, but like you can go and like plug in your car into Bluetooth and stuff and like, yeah. listen to your stuff but when it's like a radio station like that kind of kind of nostalgia that you grow up with too right it's like oh my gosh like you're on the radio and it's it's just a whole different kind of feeling so i'm yep. pumped for that too you have to tell your mom because i know they like set out times when they're gonna be playing a certain song or whatever you gotta tell your mom you gotta tell your fiance oh, yeah. everybody has to be in their cars or in the house with sure. the radio on um, she'll be all over that they'll be all over that it's so funny and I love it. my my like parents were very like classic rock especially my dad growing up and now i've converted them to country which is awesome <laughs> so she'll like send me songs from like Sirius XM the highway being like have you heard this song you should do a cover of it like it's so good so I love she's that. all invested it's great yeah, yeah country music is the best genre out there so 100 i mean everybody should come to our side yeah. it's the best side <laughs> exactly yeah so that's super exciting you're going in soon to go and get the video done and then everybody can go and watch it and people are going to be listening to you too on the radio not just from top of the country because trust me we believe in you and you're going to go a lot further than just top of the country, Zach. And I have to tell you that here first. So you remember, oh, you. <laughs> I'm saying it, no problem. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited for you for everything that you have going on in March, just like with your baby. Oh, yeah. actually, um, since she's your fiance, are you, did you guys set a, a date for a wedding yet? Yeah, so we're, um, we're going to get married uh, next uh, July. So okay. July 5th, I believe, is the date next year. Um, her parents have a nice little piece of property in the Okanagan. So we've always wanted to do kind of a home, smaller base kind of uh, wedding. So, yeah, we're going to uh, obviously give the year to get our baby, you know, acclimated and give us time to, you know, get settled yeah. in for uh, that. But, yeah, that's the plan. So next year. So it'll be good. It'll well, be music is hopefully going to be going good. You know, we'll have the baby and then it's like now we have to plan the wedding, which will be another thing, but it'll be exciting. I'm super pumped for that. It's, it's going to be an exciting uh, two years ahead for you. And uh, last one before I let you go, upcoming shows. Are you performing anywhere? Well, actually, I don't know, maybe because uh, if you're having a baby soon, I don't know if you're going to want to be playing shows anytime soon, but anything in the summer that's popping up? Yeah, I, again, like this time was definitely um, designated towards like the top of the country stuff and, you know, getting that underway. Obviously, the birth of our child is obviously yeah. a, like a huge thing. But um, Addie, my fiance, is just so supportive. So she's like, honestly, anything that comes up, just go, right? Like, obviously, if if everything's good and, if, and like fingers crossed um, that it is so planning to do a show uh down in vancouver in june those de those details aren't confirmed that's going to be i believe a nude uh um like alcohol like the alcohol brand nude they're going to yeah. uh, sponsor it um down in vancouver there's a nashville nights session uh down in vancouver as well at the end of april and then and just working on stuff for the summer now so Hopefully, you know, fingers crossed, everything with this Sirius XM thing goes well. And I know, you know, if you get into the top three, there's all those things yeah. that come along with it as well. So leaning towards those. And yeah, I'm just I'm just kind of taking it day by day right now. But definitely looking to expand shows in the summer for sure. Hey, well, we're all rooting for you we're behind you and good luck with the competition. And Thank even you very if. Much. Even if it doesn't go the way you planned it, I'm sure you're still going to go places as well. Well, thank you. I appreciate you're, it. You're welcome. Well, thanks so much, Zach, for chatting with me today on Country with Celine. I appreciate it. Thanks, Celine. Maybe the story.
story you told was different Maybe it made you feel good And I know when you come running back You'll try to help me to Remind me again why I still loved you And after all this time After the long days, heartbreaks, sleepless nights And all your fake goodbyes 